Hello, Galaxy! I'm Chris Perillo, and unlike last time, I'm just going to stream once rather than simultaneously. Because last time I streamed into two places at once, and it nearly uh, uh, cracked a hole in the space-time continuum. Or so I'm told by the voices in my head. <clears throat> and apparently one of the voices is a little uh, hoarse. <clears throat> so let me go ahead and uh, tell you it, it was a solid week in terms of pickups. And I will be uh, diving into that. But um, there's been something that's been on my mind. <laughs> And apparently in my throat. Gosh, it's like I haven't been talking all day, and I have. Probably too much. That's probably the problem. Um, I, uh, as you might know if you're in the uh, Discord chat server at live.perillo.com, which is open 24-7 for everybody to, to ignore, which most people do because I can't participate 24-7, um, I, I posted basically... Uh, some some feelings uh, that I've had in relation to running the latest beta of Android 11 on my Pixel 4 XL. I tweeted something in relation to this uh, the other day and thought I'd, I'd put a finer point on it. I didn't want to do a separate video, if only because I, I really didn't want to be, you know, all depressed, which is generally how I feel anytime I talk about these types of trends, specifically in relation to software and, and, and user experiences that we genuinely can't avoid. Uh, so I'm going to do my best to balance what it is I know people want to talk about and what it is that I really want to talk about, the things that I enjoy versus the things that really push me to the point of, um, I, I'm not going to say anger because that's probably a bit too extreme, but uh, suffice to say, as someone who cares a great deal about an experience, I have found that uh, the uh, software options for uh, portable computing have been extremely limited. And when, let me go a little further. When I say portable computing, I mean like pocket computing, pocket PCs, if you will. Uh, back, back, you know, remember the day I had one? I had the uh, the HP Jornada. I can't remember the model number. You could probably look it up somewhere. Um, I'm not going to bother. But, uh, you know, the, the smartphones, right? And, and, and I know the world seems to turn on smartphone releases and hardware releases and, and what have you. And by the way, before I forget, uh, Rocky, thank you very much for the uh, the super chat. I don't know what you want to say or what you want to assert, but 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 I'm here and I'm listening and thank you for your support. Um, hopefully, I'm. I, in fact, I don't think I'm going to upset you because I know you, I believe you were, I know, I know you, and I believe you replied to me on Twitter. Because this is typically where I'll throw half of my thoughts. Because it just frustrates me. Um, Android Beta 3. Android 11 Beta 3. On the Pixel 4 XL. Remember, Google's whole thing is software, right? They're telling a software story, right? And, and, and the whole approach to the Google Pixel is software and services. And for the most part, I would say they do a decent job with it. Um, the Pixel is relatively unparalleled. Um in terms of software, but they're starting to uh, seemingly cut corners, and I mean that in a, in a strict sense, uh, especially with some of the bugs that I filed, like official uh, tickets uh, that uh, have been submitted with documentation of the, uh, in, in, in my humble opinion, uh, glaring oversights uh, of, of quality control in terms of where we should be at a later beta as far as a user experience is concerned, uh, a lot of which are have been tied to gesture controls, the gesture navigation that they released 
and has and ha people have been using within Android 10 for a while, some of the bugs are still there, which has kept me from gesture controls or using them because you have the option of the three button control, which you still have in terms of navigation on Android 11. But the problem is they've brought over some of the hiccups and headaches of gesture nav to three button nav. And I'm talking largely like UI glitches. And so I can't escape the problem by working around it. I can forgive other bugs because they're likely going to get addressed, especially ones that get a lot of attention. But I have grave concerns that what needs to be fixed to create a polished product, certainly for a pixel, which let's face it, needs to shine in relation to software for it to succeed. I have grave concerns that Google's not going to address the things that they didn't bother to address within Android 10 that are now still fully prevalent and even more widespread in Android 11. Specifically the beta, beta 3, which purports to be the final beta. Again, I'm, I'm concerned. And for a lot of different reasons, a lot of different reasons, because you can't avoid software. And so uh, I, I believe it or not, I do my best to minimize a lot of this stuff because I don't want to live in stress and strain and just feeling frustrated with the products that I'm not being forced to use, admittedly, but the products that I pay money to use, I want them to be what I expect them to be. And my fear is that it's, it's not even just a double-edged sword. It's just the state of the industry is just so, in my humble opinion, far off base. Uh, and, and, you know, I'm not interested in religious debates. I'm not interested necessarily in what you choose to use. I'm not. I'm interested in the things that I have to deal with. And my feelings are personal, 100% opinions. Uh, are, they're mine, reflective of nobody else, including Intel's, obviously. Uh, but uh, you're, you're basically left with two choices today, Android or iOS and iOS, despite me using it, well, iPad OS, which for all intents and purposes is iOS. I, I use iPad OS on a near daily basis. And despite it being one of the later gen, like I think one gen removed from the current gen, uh, devices, it's definitely got the specs, right? The hardware, the benchmarks certainly exceed expectations. But the experience is still lacking. It still suffers from a, a certain uh, judder that uh, I don't think has necessarily been eliminated within the, the, the current version in beta of, of iOS uh, uh, 12. So Android 11 is just feeling like it isn't fully baked and iOS has not been fully baked for the longest time and I'm caught in between. And the differences are stark. Like, you know, I, I, I'm this this close. If you want, I can make it public, but I'm this close to making a pros and cons. Because uh, I, 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 I don't know if I can s suffer through the software oversights of either one of them for an extended period of time. I, I, and I don't know which one I'm going to choose. I, I'm, I'm literally at that point. And, and, and it's, it's just... One isn't better simply because another one is bad. They're both... In incredibly problematic for 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 well documented reasons, and you know whether you perceive it that way or not, I do. And this so this is what has been weighing on me when I took the plunge into Android 11 beta whatever three uh, this week because I thought oh, you know I've never been burned before. I'm like it's it's not going to be worse. It's worse. <laughs> it's worse. So. Congratulations, Google. Uh, you finally caught up with Apple in terms of software quality control. I'm not sure that's where you want to be. Like I said, I filed tickets. I've documented the, the problems directly. I'm not talking about feature issues. Uh, I, I'm talking about implementation. It's not the feature, it's the implementation. And so uh, I, I'm, uh, I, this, I don't like feeling this way. I just, I just don't because I can't. Ah, <laughs> uh, this is, it's just so, uh, you can't just walk away from it, right? You can't just not use some of this stuff. There's plenty that I don't use, 
intentionally because I don't want those nightmares in my life. But for the things that I have to deal with on a daily basis, let's face it, smartphones, if it, you've got a limited array of choices. And being a software purist, being a software, um, uh, I, I hesitate to say enthusiast at this point because I don't know if I'd go that far. Uh, a, a software pragmatist, I'm finding myself completely sidelined in today's offerings. Completely, utterly, from anybody and everybody out there. And, and, and it just, it, it, it really, it's, it, it, it upsets me because I don't see it changing anytime soon for the software that I do have the ability to, um, help mold in a very, even though I'm close to it in a very distant way, still, I feel at least that I've got some degree of control over a general user experience and being the community advocate for Intel graphics. I'm not talking about them right now. And, and, and I, I can tell you, as the community advocate, the feedback is absolutely seen. I can tell you that, right? I, I know that the, 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 they're going the right direction with uh, what the team is doing. That's my opinion, obviously. I'm biased. Um, I'm talking not about that experience. I'm talking specifically about the experience that I have, I have in the, uh, the palm of, uh, of my hand. So, <laughs> yeah, I'm not happy. Not at all. And I, 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 I'm keeping my fingers crossed for improvements. This is the thing I would, during my show and tell, this is the thing that I'm, I'm choosing to talk about. Uh, and I feel like I'm wasting my breath, honestly. Because the cycle is not dominated by software releases. It's dominated by hardware releases. But when you've got lingering software issues, it doesn't matter how much new hardware gets thrown at the software problem. There's still an underlying software problem. So it's not like I could even stick with my Pixel 4 XL and, and you know, uh, if only because it's now on Android 11, <laughs> beta 3, and I know I could roll back, but at what point are you stemming the tide? And it's a question of, well, are they going to fix it in software? They could always fix it in software, but they didn't. They didn't address the, the gesture nav issues. <laughs> With, with an Android 10, I, I'm not going to hold my breath for 11. And, and it's, uh, yeah, Google, I, I don't know what Google's strategy is. I barely know what Apple's strategy is. But, you know, I, I don't know what Google wants to be when it grows up in, in terms of these types of consumer experiences. That has me concerned. And I think that for them to say that they're, you know, concentrating and focusing on software, which I totally believe in. I, I believe it. Their words have got to measure up. And right now it's a far cry from where it needs to be, especially for something that's not an edge case. We're talking about things you, uh, operations that you can't avoid navigation, like actually operating your product. <laughs> uh, it's just the massive inconsistencies and, 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 and sloppy, execution and regression in, in terms of uh, uh, a quality control with the triple button nav navigating. And it's I don't want to trade one set of nightmares for another set of nightmares. I didn't want to do that years ago. I, I felt like it was the right decision for me to make. But at this point, uh, the ball's in play. I don't know. I, I'd rather not talk about something that depresses. I, I'm, gonna say, I'm not going to say depress, depression. Come on, I have a life. I, my world does not revolve around technology and smartphone choices, right? Um, I, this is why I choose to spend the, this time that I have, you know, to share the things that I've discovered this week uh, with you because I have fun showcasing the things. I didn't, I did, everything I just talked about, that was not fun for me. It was painful. It was excruciating. Um, I, I'm not going to provide example after example because then we're going down the rabbit hole and then it becomes a he said, she said, and you don't see the problem and I'm not here to uh, prove what has already been proven and documented. Like I said, I've filed tickets, I've documented the problems, the people who need to see it and accept them as problems uh, have it in their pipeline, theoretically, if they accept them. So, all that said... I'm going to move on to something that's far more interesting, far more exciting, far more happy than anything that I've talked about to this point in the video, starting with me taking off my glasses. 
You ready for this? <laughs> Were you ready for this? My head, by the way, there's my chin. My it doesn't fit. Like I'm, I'm too big for the child. So uh, yeah, I came home. Jedi finally. Oh, this, you got. I got. I got to either put it on my chin. <laughs> My, it's it's made for a child. Obviously, it is the child. Uh, they couldn't have made it any bigger, uh, this thing. But uh, $3 right here. This is a $3 mask uh, at Target in Bullseye's Playground. Um, it, it does not fit adult heads, unfortunately. But, uh, uh, oh, I see. It says cut the tab before wearing the mask. This, uh, sorry about that. That was the microphone. I'm sure that did not sound good. Um, don't count on me when it comes to production. That's for sure. So it's a thin plastic. And that's one of the, the, the bigger problems that, that I have with it. It's a, it's a thinner plastic, but it's awfully reminiscent of the, uh, um, of the, uh, the, the old masks that we used to wear for Halloween. Cause Halloween's now around the corner, coming around the corner. Very, very wide. Like this thing, this is by the way, a wide angle lens camera, very, very wide angle to these ears. Um, thin plastic doesn't fit on me, but I didn't necessarily get it for me. Uh, it's the child. Diane was like, no, 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 that's not the child. I'm like it is. No, no, no. It's got wrinkles. Yeah. But the child has wrinkles. Yeah. yeah. I'm like, Look at the eyes! That is the giveaway! That This is the child. I'm even wearing, I don't know if you notice, I'm wearing a new child shirt here. Not not child size, but the child. Uh, this was $10, half off, at one of the local uh, uh, grocery stores. That's not a grocery store, but it's got like, what would you call it? Not department store. Department store slash grocery store combo, one of the Kroger stores. Um, anyway, so I saw this, and the funny thing is, is when I got it, like the, the woman who's like stocking it, she says, oh, did you see that we had these? Because everyone knows, everyone knows me. Everyone who knows me knows these are the things that I look for. I'm like, no. Yeah, 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 I'll take it. Um, I got one picture of Jedi in this thing a few minutes ago, but uh, she's obviously not going to be joining in the video. But anyway, this is available. $3 uh, if you're interested. Super thin plastic, but you know, $3. You can't miss. Uh, so that's that. Now I've got to be careful as I place things. Because this is, like I said, this is a... This is a different angle. I don't know if anybody's noticed in, in this particular video. Um, Jedi's birthday is coming up in September. And so she wants a, a theme of the child for her birthday. And, you know, she has a, a you know, because of marketing, uh, she, she seems to be attracted to the color pink. And because that's what they say, you know, girls, oh, you're a girl. You need to like pink. And everything that's for a girl is going to be pink. And because it's pink, it's for a girl. Thank you, marketing. Um... And I know you're saying, well, Chris, you f fell for Star Wars marketing. I'm like, yeah, but Star Wars ostensibly is not uh, specifically pitched, or should not, I should say, be pitched specifically as a boy's brand. Um, it should not be, and, and I would say Kathleen Kennedy has gone a gr uh, to great lengths to, to overcome that uh, gender stereotype. So uh, they have these available, like par party supplies of the child. These are cutouts. So we've got v various, like, you know, the child and the precious cargo. These are things, uh, designs that we've seen in other uh, products uh, of the child. Uh, but this is specifically, like, put up on walls or curtains or the table, these cutouts. This is the value pack. So uh, I, I picked up a variety of uh, merch for the child, dec decorations uh, to, to, to celebrate. Another one of the, I, I may... I don't, hopefully I'm going to grab them all, but um, there's also, even though it's going to be a very small party, as in just like myself, Diana, Jedi, uh, for the most part, uh, they also have uh, they, the infamous they, bags. Can I take one out? See if I can get that angle just right. So um, this is great, uh, treat bags, fa uh, favor bags. So let me see if I can pull one out without, no, I guess I am going to have to cut into it. Give me a second. All right. Because I'm trying not to make a mess. Because, you know. Give me a second. Uh, okay, there we go. Ooh, cool. I didn't notice that side. Uh, these are treat bags. So, uh, I, again, I'm trying to, as you know, I take screenshots to share in social on when these things are done. So I'm trying to keep the area clean. There we go. Full product view. I think there are eight in here. Ten. Ten bags, eight bags, uh, eight. So there are eight bags, eight treat bags. So you can get 
You can get uh, the child treat bags or treats for the child. No treats come inside, of course. Uh, but this little paper sack, which you'll have fun with. And then we've got uh, Din Jaren on the other side. So fun to find this. I don't know what we're going to be stuffing in there. Maybe a couple of presents. I don't know if we have presents that are small enough to fit in here. That's a that's a story, different story. Dang, I keep knocking the mic. A different story altogether. Okay, so sacks and uh, cutouts and here we go. Uh, I also had to, I picked these up separately, spirals. So um, we're going to, don't worry, we will. I don't think we're, I don't know if we're going to be doing video uh, for, for her birthday, but we'll probably share some photos uh, in, in social so you can stay tuned for that. Uh, spirals. We've got IG-11, the child, and, and, and the Mandalorian right there. Uh, interesting, though, that we didn't have a Cara Dune. Still, I love the color, uh, the coloring here, a pink and a purple, uh, and then the, the black. I think it's a great stark contrast uh, with one another. Great color combo. So this is a, this is one of the current Mandalorian party uh, themes uh, things that you can get uh, that that style. There's another style that I have on order. The one that Diane says, "Yeah, I get that one." So I got that one, and then like uh, she says, "No, no, no, I, I want the other one." I'm like, "Okay." So now we have like extra child stuff, which by the way, I'm not complaining about. Uh, oh yeah, I got another um, Darth Vader. Uh, I almost said Carbonara. Uh, the Darth, uh, Darth Vader uh, carbonized figure, which I think is just absolutely fantastic. Still, I took some pictures of it and shared them in uh, shared them in social. Uh, but this is I got an extra one. I I didn't realize I had this one coming, but I did. Not that I'm going to complain about an extra Vader. You'll never hear me complain about that. Um, I this is the most recent uh, bot bag that they made uh, for for Star Wars uh, out of the Last Jedi. You can see with the theme. Uh, with the, the Praetorian Guard. I had shown you a couple of weeks ago one of the punch bags that I got, but when I inflated it, or Diana inflated it, it had a leak. And I, after I patched the leak, after inflating and putting it in the bathtub and looking for the bubbles, there was another leak. So I thought I patched that leak. It just didn't, it, it, it was leaky. So we ended up having to scrap it. Luckily, uh, the person I bought it from gave me a full refund. Uh, and I ended up just turning around and, and getting uh, this particular bop bag. So uh, Jedi is going to be bopping some Praetorian Guard soon. Praetorian Guard, so there. Hopefully you're getting a pretty good view. One would hope. Oh, by the way, weekend weigh-in. Uh, I am down to 149 pounds, which is great. Down from about 155-ish. Uh, oh, forgot this about her birthday. So this is a, a, a the child my, Mylar balloon. This is, looks so much better inflated. Uh, but it did not ship to me inflated. I'm going to have to take it back into the store to get inflated like a day before her birthday. Uh, it inflates to, let's see here, 26, 26 inches tall uh, at 66 centimeters. It's about as wide as it is tall. So this is going to be a big one. It's going to be around for a while. So hopefully we will not be annoyed by this very large child floating around. So we, th this child will be inflated, not as easily shown in this particular video, but still... Okay, next. I guess I, I should have grabbed all the party things before moving on. Forgive me. Uh, there there are also uh, balloons. These are officially mer licensed. It's kind of tricky to find a licensed uh, uh, merch of the child right now. There's a lot of bootleg stuff. Uh, but this is officially licensed. We got black, green, white theme. Doesn't exactly fit the, the theme that I showed you before, you know, without any pink, which I think also would have looked well or looked good uh, with this. They would have gone well together. That's it. That's the better way of saying it, right? So we got some balloons, and I'm probably gonna miss another one of the part. Oh no, I'm not gonna miss this one. That's another. I got. I got two bags of balloons. So one. This backup. Uh, I, I got those online, but I also got these online. So we've got uh party bracelet things, uh four to a pack. So we've got two of the child and two of the Mandalorian. Uh, it's uh seemingly printed on which is nice not a sticker sometimes that's rare to, to find so i would say like on the quality end of uh, the spectrum definitely on the higher uh, quality end of the spectrum thing uh only one kenobi good to see you and everybody else too by the way um i'm not ignoring you i'm I, the chat was behind the uh, the the broadcast uh window there uh give me a second See, I got a duplicate one to back up, just in case, you know. Um, found these party supplies. I don't think we're going to use them, but I'm like, I didn't have them before. 
And just in case Diana needs them, uh, like cupcake uh, picks or just regular picks, I, they won't fit with this current theme. Uh, obviously, they're the, the Last Jedi or from The Last Jedi or that era. Well, Star Wars and uh, one of the uh, uh, ties, Kylo Ren's tie, right there. So uh, these these are also fun, you know, if you need to pick, pick at something. Diana and I will not be partaking in cake. We're just going to get a cheap cake, and Jedi's going to have one slice, and then we're going to kibosh the cake. Um, because, we'll, we'll, you know, we're, we're actually trying to do a pretty... We're doing a pretty good job, I feel, like, um, with the choices we make for ourselves and her vicariously. But when I started to take stock about, okay, I'm eating amazing things, great things, but I'm eating too many, too many of these things. We realize, you know, maybe we should be a little more careful with Jedi too. So J Jedi um, is uh, is is eating just as well as we are. This is, um, which isn't as, she doesn't she doesn't weigh what I weigh, right? <laughs> At all, not close, not yet. Um, so I'm just saying, you know, for a child, you 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 can't give them the same amount of calories as you give an adult. Who knew? Actually, we knew, and we've been well ahead of that game. So this is uh, our, the Artist of the Month patch. This is from R2KT. I, you know, buy these uh, when they release new patches. Actually, this was a, a mystery patch. I, I, was, I didn't buy this one, but I think it was a bonus because I was expecting to get another one. But he sent this one instead, and I'm not complaining. Uh, fun little colorful gonk as they, uh, to celebrate uh, the, the Artist of the Month uh, that they've been doing. Um, so this is a fun little treat. These aren't licensed, by the way. This this particular product's not licensed, but they tend to be of, of higher quality and they go to a good cause. Um, oh, I guess I put those in there, huh, didn't I? Oops. Uh, pull these two things out. I am not necessarily a pin collector, but when I see like a licensed pin come through, and specifically Darth Vader, I tend to jump at it. And so I learned, cat here, no, cat hair is not the product. Loungefly recently released uh, a couple of pins, officially licensed pins. Let me hold this up. Now, granted, this is the. the I'm gonna hold it this way. So I gotta take screenshots of this, right? You know. So we've got. I, they will. Uh, unfortunately, the camera, even though I, I thought I had it like set to like, not focus on or to autofocus. Uh, up with objects up close for some reason it's not auto focusing so we have a Darth Vader lounge fly a pin very small one Darth Vader uh, it's not styled like the Kenner uh, the classic Kenner figure just a Darth Vader figurine from lounge fly uh, that I bought it's 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 not at least I think it's a lounge fly uh, but this is the one that got that, that took me down the rabbit hole oh come on dude really I thought that was already opened give me a second it was okay this is the one that I ended up chasing, and that's when I found the other one. I'm like, oh, I didn't know they had the other one, so yay. Okay, so this one, this is like, let's see if I can get it, the, the reflection in the backpack just right, just like so. It's like a Darth Vader, th uh, a Darth Vader styled backpack. Can you? Come on, lighting. There we go. If I can hold it, there we go. So it's like Darth Vader styled uh, backpack. And so, of course, I had to chase it down. So the other ones are available. I'm not going to get them. <laughs> Just to, this is why I have to stick to Vader stuff. That's exactly why. But anyway, so the, the, these two pins, see how it wor works if I hold them up this way. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. Pins. Darth Vader pins. Who knew? I did. That's why I got them. Uh, the thing, okay, so these are older, but I went on a binge because I, I thought I was going to replace pins. It ended up not happening. Um, but, uh, it, I didn't, I, I didn't, I, I never saw these available on shelves anywhere around here. So I got them online. Uh, the big ball pins, they, they, they make these. Don't know if you knew. They do. Uh, they also, I got, I got a few. Um, they also make, ah! oh. um, pencils, like pump pencils are made at one point. And you can see this is the older branding. Uh, so they've got, uh, pump pencils. So I found these online. I'm like, whoa, really? 
And at one point, they made these particular gel pens. We got a Darth Vader gel pen and a Chewbacca. Okay, I was, was not expecting that to fall out, but sure. Uh, we got a Darth Vader, Darth Vader ballpoint pen, and a Chewbacca ballpoint pen. And there are other characters on there as well. Han Solo, Chewbacca. Writing utensils. You know, with Back to School being what it is. Even though, like, there were hardly any uh, Star Wars Back to School supplies. That's when I went hunted on, hunting online. I showed you the child ballpoint pens uh, the other week, I think. Uh, but these are actually, they're not ballpoint. These are gel pens. Yeah? Gel pens. I'm pretty sure. Oh, yeah, this one's going to fall out, too. Wow. Yikes. Gel pens. So, uh, I the good news is, it's a Vader pen, so it's going to go right over there. I now have a gel pen, and I'm not sure what's going to happen with the Chewbacca, Princess Leia, etc., etc., etc. I'll give it to Jedi. Ew, it's got a, oh, that's not the goober, it's the, the you know, the glump, glump of whatever it is at the end of the, the pen. Um, I am going to also open, see if any one of them are open, the, uh, the pencils, which to me are just kind of, these are fun. I love these. The mechanical pencils because they're colorful. They're never going to go bad apart from when the uh, graphite runs out. But the nice thing ah, about these pencils are uh, there is a Vader pencil. So, like, oh, whoa. Cool, huh? Well, I think it's cool. Uh, I have pump pencils over there. Um, so, I'm not sure where I'm going to put these yet. I've got like a utensil drawer, writing utensils drawer over here. Um, I'll have to figure it out later. Okay. Um, ooh, got, a more, got another pen. You can't see all the stuff that's off to the side, by the way. It's like crazy over here. Yeah, like I said, I got pens because I thought we were going to be replacing them. Oops. Oh, this is... Oh, thrifting. Um... I want to show you a couple of thrifting things. Uh, I've, I've found a, a few of the, uh, um, these were at the bottom of the bag. Uh, the These are from um, Fortnite, which I haven't played yet. But I saw they were in a bag with something else, uh, and, and I thought Jedi would get a kick out of them, so I got them thrifting. Uh, but I picked up a, a couple of the um, uh, Fortnite uh, uh, figures. They, they were awfully reminiscent of G.I. Joe. I think a little better built in some ways, and some ways worse. I uh, love the, the designs of the things, but I'm not going to start playing Fortnite. One of the, the reasons why I, uh, I got some of the bags is because there was a, a modern Jedi, and I can't figure out which one this is. So if anybody if anybody knows, let me know. I, th I want to say it's Obi-Wan. It's kind of difficult to show up close, but like I can't tell if that's Anakin or, or, or Obi-Wan. Like the, the face sculpt is... is I, I want to say neither. I want to say it's, it's another Jedi entirely. Uh, I've got a little bit of cleanup to do, because uh, I pulled a thing off this tunic. Uh, i got a little bit of cleanup to do, but still, for a thrift find, pretty nice. So yeah, I had a couple of Fortnite figures. I don't know what I'm going to do with these things. I'm not going to stand them up, but you know, I'll hold on to them indefinitely. We'll see. I mean, super cheap for what they were, but I, I don't know how well Fortnite figures have been selling in general. People like playing the game. They don't necessarily like uh, collecting. Um, something else that I saw in my travels uh, online, I'm like, oh, these are kind of neat. Even though there's not a Vader, um, these are like um, little tins of uh, there's it's chalk like a chalk um, surface that's capable of taking chalk on the back, so property of, and then uh, on the front as well. Uh, I would say relatively modern, um, but I'd never seen these before. It says uh, 2016, so I missed I missed that. Um, when, when it was out in 2016, unfortunately. Still. They're little storage tins, so like pencil tins. So you can get like um, C-3PO, R2-D2, or a Stormtrooper. These little, these very small tins with the chalkboard capability on the front. Kind of neat. Don't know what, uh, what we're going to use them for. Pencils, of course, and pens. Uh, certainly if we need them, they're at our disposal. Pretty thin, too, so I, I like that. Um, you're not, I think these types are pretty nice to have around because they're not too big, not too small, but uh, fully capable. Uh, now, as I, uh, I should not have had a giant red draw before doing this video because I have this. I have the TT. Um, I'm going to show you this. 
This is something that I probably need to, like, show in the dark. Can you see it? I am wielding the uh, Darksaber uh, from the Mandalorian. Uh, also from the Clone Wars. Also from uh, 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 the Rebels when Sabine wielded it. Uh, but this is the Darksaber. Not a lightsaber, the Darksaber. And uh, it's pretty cool. So we, we now have the cap uh, the ability to fight each other with a Darksaber. So we've got a Darksaber. That's important to have. Every kid should have one. Every adult should have one as well. Um, but what was interesting to me was the fact that they, they marketed the marketed bo uh, the box marketing itself. The box design is excellent, right? It shows you everything about the Darksaber. You got the Mandalorian or one or, or Pre Vizsla right there. Uh, Pre Vizsla, uh, Darth Maul, and then Sabine. So like they they the only one who's missing here. You got Bo Katan, um, and then Sabine's mom. Uh, I, the thing the, the person that's missing though is Moff Gideon. Like the uh uh. The person who was wielding it in the Mandalorian is this like being marketed as the Mandalorian Darksaber, right? But like Gideon's not here. I'm like, well, that's interesting. So the, the, here we've got, uh, you know, like I said, the Clone Wars and, and Rebels represented, but not the Mandalorian, which is the reason they produced this, right? Specifically because of the the, the very end of, of the Mandalorian season one. Uh, but rather, uh, rather cool. Uh, so the box packaging, I thought, was just as um, spectacular to highlight as the product itself, if only because of the characters uh, that were uh, showcased on it. Uh, that was kind of a surprise to me. I'm ha a happy surprise. Uh, okay, what do I want to show you next? Okay, so now I'm going to show you... Uh, I'm, I guess I can show you this stuff. I'm going to try to... I'm going to save the best. In my humble opinion, I'm going to save the best for last. Uh, I was doing a search, and somehow this popped up. Uh, these uh, holiday cards are on sale. Rather nice, glittery, glowy holiday cards. I would say for Life Day, right? But there's Oh, there's going to be... I don't know if you knew this. Um, Lego's going to be producing a, a Life Day holiday special. Like, the, the Star Wars holiday special... I'm not going to say... It's not, it's not canon, and it's not going to be canon, because it's going to exist in the Lego universe. But still, there's going to be a, a Star Wars holiday special. And not like the one I, the one I wanted... But still, I'll, I'll take it. I'll take that over nothing. Uh, but these cards are available uh, for the, the holiday season. Holiday cards. Boop, 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 boop. Um, and uh, for, I got these eight in this box for $3. A little over $3 for super high quality cards. Like, wow. I'm not going to use them, necessarily. Or I, you, you have to be really special if you get one of these from me. Let me put it to you that way. Like, really, really special. Uh, I'm not saying you're not special. It's just I only have so many to go around. Um, okay, next I'm going to show you, I'm kind of mixing and matching here, found this thrifting as well, not quite lenticular, I guess lenticular-esque, a uh, little lunch bag, nice, had one already, a little, you know, carrying case, because we don't know what we're going to put in it yet, but for a couple bucks, you know, couldn't pass it up, it was in decent shape, sometimes they're not, and I have to pass on them, found this thrifting as well, uh, the Angry Birds Star Wars Encyclopedia, character encyclopedia, and I, if even if I did have it, this was in good shape. Uh, I wish I would have been as as collecty back when they had these little figurines. I've 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 ended up picking up a few of them, uh, you know, while thrifting now. Uh, but uh, there's Pecme Amidala and Stella Organa. So that's the uh, Angry Birds character encyclopedia for a buck thrifting. Uh, got these pencils, which I could have saved money on if I would have bought them at another store. These are modern. You can tell by the branding are more modern. Uh, we've got uh, Kylo Ren of the First Order, Rey, uh, and then uh, Chewbacca, and then Phasma on the other side. Pencil, you can get these for, if you look in the right place, you can get them for a, right around $2-ish. I was not looking in the right place and ended up paying about twice as much, which I should not have done. I was, you know, picking up supplies for the house. You, I mean, you need pencils. Um, this is the next thing gonna reach over other things uh this is uh like a, 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 a magnetic well it says it i don't actually i don't know if it's a magnetic it's a dry erase mag, uh, board that's magnetic uh that comes with a dry erase marker and, and, and magnets but the back I, I there's no mounting bracket on the back which is kind of interesting to me so i i don't know how i'm going to do that i don't know how i'm going to pull that off what you know i i could use i suppose like command hooks uh for it uh, when it goes up or eventually goes up if it goes up 
but uh, found this online too. Like when I find, like when I'm searching for one thing and something else pops up and it's a good price, I'm like, whoa, I didn't know that existed. I, I must have it. And so now I do. Uh, but one of the magnets does have Darth Vader on it, which is really neat. Oh, I forgot to take off the thrifting sticker, but uh, I remember these being out. I can't remember if I ever grabbed one, uh, for a thermos product that was branded uh, Star Wars uh, in Target. But, you know, it was like a couple bucks thrifting. I'm like, oh, well, we may need it at some point, and you know, it's pretty cheap. Uh, not in great condition, I would say, because you got some bubble uh, bubbling happening here on the on the label. Uh, but, you know, again, for a, a few bucks, a couple bucks uh, after discount, uh, it's not a bad deal. I may actually have to take a break because I, 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 I have to go. I have to go potty. <laughs> and I can't ask someone else to come up here and, like, crawl over everything. Uh, found these. I don't know why I went down this rabbit hole. Uh, but these are the Disney cars. Uh, that were produced, and I because I didn't have a couple of them, right? And I don't think I'm going to be able to be a completist. I'm not talking about the Disney Cars, cars like the cartoons, like they had like Darth Mater, like Mater, but as Darth Vader, which I had. Uh, that was one series from Disney Weekends, uh, or the, the the Star Wars Weekends. But there was another series altogether where Disney produced these diecast vehicles. Uh, so there's Aura Singh. She even has her little antenna there. I had a few of these already. Uh, but I didn't have others, and I'm like, wow, it would cost me just as much to get these individually, uh, or more to get these individually than get all of these together, um, because they were, it was kind of a bulk deal. There's a wicket. I'm only going to show you a couple of these. Not Hot Wheels. Um, Shadow Trooper, which is really neat to see. Yeah, Shadow Trooper. Kind of actually, is it? Is it? I wonder if there's a better way. I wish they, I wish this would autofocus, but these are, I think, pretty awesome. There we go. That's not bad, right? So these are the, like, Disney cars uh, that I, I wouldn't say thrifting. This was definitely an auction purchase, but I made a deal. Uh, Plo Koon. I don't know how the hell I stumbled into these, like, in, just to get the deal. Plo Koon. I didn't have, or did until now, uh, the Lando Calrissian. Some of these I didn't even realize they produced. This is like, these are like character cars before they were character cars from Hot Wheels. Uh, and then one more, I think, that I didn't have, the Ahsoka. And I didn't have the Chewbacca either, so I'll show you the Ahsoka. So if you chase Ahsokas. And the Chewbacca. And then I'll wrap there. So I'm not going to show you each individual car. To show you what was represented, these are Disney diecast vehicles uh, that were produced. And I got a, I think, an amazing little deal, like really good deal. Uh, oh, and I got a super chat. Sorry, I didn't see that until now. Uh, hey, Chris, been watching you for years. Was even a members of Nomi's back in the day. Happy to, to see you're still at it. Of course, I'm still at it. Um, what else am I gonna do? Apart from, oh man, I gotta go, but I can hold it. I'm not gonna. My bladder's not gonna explode yet. Uh, something that went on sale because I wasn't going to pay full price for it was this. Uh, for This is a, a GameStop exclusive set that I probably would have passed on entirely. But as I started to do more research uh, f on on something, a part of what's in this box, which, by the way, is limited edition. This is fifteen fifty three of 5000 I don't think they're going to sell all 5000 certainly not at the prices. Um, I wanted this set for two reasons. One was uh, for... Uh, one was specifically for, can I get the right, can I get the light in there? There we go. There we go. Um, one was specifically for the melted Darth Vader helmet. Right there. And the other one was for the uh, medallion. So I wanted, uh, I wanted the medallion. I was, I've always wanted a medallion. And of course, I wouldn't have, I mean, this itself, I mean, it's about the size of a fist. Um... I wouldn't have purchased the set. I, I don't necessarily want a Boba Fett's, uh, you know, arm rocket thingy. I'm just, it's not, it's not my focus. Uh, but when I started doing research, I realized, okay, it's going to cost me a certain amount to get the medallion. Um, and I want a licensed medallion. Uh, and it would cost me just as much to get the medallion at the point where this went on sale. So what I'm saying is I, I kind of got a bonus effectively for having bought or purchased the, uh, uh, basically the medallion that uh, is, is given to Han and Luke at the end of A New Hope. So we've got the medallion. This is a licensed medallion. Uh, GameStop bundle. Overpriced, even on sale. Uh, I would not necessarily 
expect that anybody would pay $50 for it, depending on how badly you wanted it. I paid a little more than that. Uh, but if, if you've always wanted a medallion, getting one for $75 is probably a pretty good deal at this point, a, a, li a fully licensed uh, one. Um, that's, that's key for this kind of, uh, this kind of product. Uh, but you know, that's, it's, it's one of the things that I wanted, uh, for, for a while. And so when I saw it go on sale, uh, I had to snap it up. I know you're thinking, well, oh, Chris, what about the, the Darth Vader melted helmet? Yeah, uh, sure. I may, I'm I'm going to clip it out. Don't me. I don't know where it's going to go yet. Um, not, it is, it's nothing compared to, uh, the, the melted helmet that, uh, that I have, uh, the big one that, that people can't buy now, which is crazy. Oh, it's so funny. Okay, um, the next thing, and really the last set of things, were Discovery this morning. Uh, you know, I go thrifting, love thrifting. Thrifting is fun for me. And, you know, I, I, I generally look at board games um, and, and see them. I'm like, okay, no big deal. Uh, I tweeted one, uh, and, and as soon as I did, I don't want to, like, reveal it yet. There we go. I gotta be really careful, especially doing this live. Ah. So I tweeted this, and I said, man, I remember seeing the commercials for it a while ago, you know, as a kid. And I, I barely remember the jingle going through my head. You know, na 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 And I remember seeing it. Never, I don't remember ever playing it or ever seeing it in person. But as soon as I saw the title on the shelf, I was like, dude, that's the game. And when you can find a vintage game that's in good shape, like the box is in good shape and is mostly, if not all, complete, especially for like an affordable price, unless you're interested in flipping, which I should be at some point in the future, uh, I, I I thought about it. I'm like, now nah, I I don't I don't I don't need this. And then I saw a couple other things. I'm like, okay, if I'm going to get these other things, then I'm going to get this. So I ended up getting this, uh, the Run Yourself Ragged game. Uh, and you just look up the commercial uh, for the game Run Yourself Ragged. You'll see just how old it is. Let me put it this way. Tomy. That's that's how old it is. But this, uh, it uh, I, uh, it, I got it for, well, $6.99, So about a little over $5. Uh, but this is the thing that's crazy about this particular pickup. Not not just the price. The box is in mostly good shape. There's a tear there. Uh, but for the... Think about, like, how old is... Does it, does it have the date? Let me see if I can find the date on the box. Like, for as old as it is, the the uh, the quality... Uh, like, the it, it was stored in a cool, dry place. Like, it was just in perfect hibernation, literally. Like, the game is... I'm not going to say brand new, but for a vintage kind of game, the, 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 the quality is, like, breathtaking. So, it is complete. Like the run yourself, like it, it. But look at the stickers. Look at the, look at the stickers. Like this was used. I it, I it must have been played with, but not that heavily. It is crazy to me. So like this game, man. I remember seeing it. Now now we can play it. I and I don't have a problem playing this one as much as I will the the others that I'm about to show you. I, and I'm not gonna go into like picking up a lot of these uh, vintage games. Uh, but if I see one that's in good shape. Uh, I, I might pick it up. There's there was maybe one other game that I wanted uh, that I saw as a kid that I would have get that I would probably pick up. Perfection, where you put the uh, you put the shapes uh, and then they, you got to put you take the shapes to the side. You try to find a place for the shapes to go before the timer runs out and they all pop up. Never had that one, but I always saw the commercial for it. Thought it would uh, was a fun at a distance. Uh, this is another one. So let's see here. Can I? I got to be very careful. So I'm gonna so I'm gonna I'm gonna try to demonstrate. So what you do. Right, you set the timer, which still works, and then you got to move your marble from uh, one stage. Uh, come on, come on, next. Ah, uh, uh, there's a method, right? You got to come on. Oh, there we go. Ah, oh, come on. Ah, oh, the back. Uh, uh, there's a way to do it. There's got to be. There's, there's tricks. Uh, uh. I'm not gonna make it. I'm not even close. I couldn't even get past the second stage. So let's pretend I get to the second stage, right? So then you move to the, then you move that thing there, and then you're able to move as soon as, come on. Uh, but then you gotta start all over again, right? So you gotta move each particular knob or dial, right? And there's there's tricks uh, and ways to do it. So let's say I made it that far, right? Then I'd have to maneuver. The, the marble on onto one side, kind of like a plinko. Oh man, dude, dude. Uh, uh. 
This is a, you think it's easy, you try it, right? So let's say it goes down there, then you go pop, pop, and pops there, and then you're kind of back to, to where, oh, the timer ran out. Uh, see, where's that one? Okay, there we go. So then you gotta maneuver it through the maze and come out on the other side, which I'm probably not gonna do, it's gonna get stuck in there. Um, but there's another ball here, and this other ball, uh, let's say it came out, right? It would pop into like a, like a, where's the, oh, here. It, it pop out to the other thing, so I swing it around, kind of knock it, oh, knock it out, rolls off into the thing, and then you win, right? Obviously, I cheated the last part, but anyway. <laughs> if I find, like, good, like, it's got to be, like, in good condition, right? Good condition, vintage games. Like I, that, that seemingly are complete. I have a feeling I'd probably pick them up. Probably won't chase them down, uh, but if I see them and they're a good price and good condition, uh, I'll probably pick them up for, for for a growing collection. I did the same thing for another game that I love for one game that I had that I loved growing up, and this likely was the one, or at least the the version that I had. Um, this was this is of course Milton Bradley was around back then. This is from the '80s. This oh no wait hang on copyright '78, but I don't think this one was produced in '78. I'm not sure there's a way of... Tell that. Hang on. 79. Well, maybe this was. Uh, I don't... I didn't think this was one of the first ones done. I could be wrong. I'm looking for other dates, but... I don't know my Connect 4... Because uh, there, there se there's been several produced, right? Uh, but this is one of the games, and I remember the, bo my, the box that I had looked a lot like this. Uh, easy game. Jedi and I were even playing it. Here's the problem with this one, and I, as soon as I open the box, and it was, it was complete, it's complete, but as soon as I open the box to put it together, I realized that, and I didn't look even at the, at the store, and I, I probably would have picked it up anyway, but the, uh, um, the pegs the, uh, upon which you hang the board, right, uh, they're very, the, one of them was warped, and so as soon as I put, I think it was this one on, it basically snapped off, so one of them snapped off. And I was like, oh, there it is, right there. This this piece snapped off. Um, so I was like, oh, God. So we played it a little bit with Jedi. I said, please be careful, please be careful. And then I realized I had a Travel Connect 4. So I went in the other room, and, and, and I got the Travel Connect 4. We played it for a while. She did win one or two games. Uh, but I may end up getting, depending on how we do with the Travel one for a while, which easy setup and tear down, uh, I may get a bigger one uh, at some point in the future. But the nice thing about this particular set is... Yeah, it was mostly complete, mostly, you know, good condition, really cheap. Like, that was another reason why I was like, okay, this is like, you know, this is kind of throwaway money, right? I've spent more on fast food. Um, if I can get that sitting right. Uh, the checkers that it comes with, in this particular set, they're like, they are checkers, right? You've got the eagle on one side and the star on the other, like a classic uh, checker set. So it came with, this one came, and there are different ones, but it came with actual checkers. So when it comes time to, to take, to play checkers, I, I now can dip in here pull the checkers out, and I've got the nice uh, chess board, the Star Wars chess board that I showed a few weeks ago uh, to use as the, the, the checkers board. So anyway, Connect 4, Vintage Connect 4 game. And then a game that I probably would have passed on, but had it not been for Diana telling me that she had this game growing up. And look at this. This mousetrap game is... Let me see if I can find the date on this thing. Wait a second. No, see, oh, there we go. 1986. This is an 86. So I don't. I it, I think it was out before then. I do remember them advertising this particular game, but the condition of the box is crazy good. Like crazy for the ages. Like someone like just put this away and didn't do anything with it. I don't know if it has all the pieces to it, but when I opened it up initially, uh, it seems. Uh, like, I'm like, dude, there's a lot of pieces in there, a ton of pieces, that just like with the, uh, the Connect 4 set, I was like, okay, I don't know, Diana, if we should be putting these pieces together, because it, it, if one of them snaps, replacing it's going to be costly. But either way, we now have a mousetrap game. It even has the instructions, thank goodness, because I, I never played this game, I wouldn't even know where to begin, but it seems that it has all the pieces, or would have all the pieces within it, given the, given the state condition of the box. Uh, given that the fa fact that it has the instructions, given the, the, the condition of the pieces themselves, I believe this is a complete set. Um, if it was, if the box was a bit beat up, I probably would have passed on it because of a nice box, just like with all of them. 
uh, connect nice connect four box, a uh, nice run yourself ragged box, and nice mouse trap box. Because of the condition of the box, I opted to pick up all three. Uh, not, I'm not going down a new path. If I do see vintage games that are you know, you know higher quality uh, in terms of condition, box, etc., I may pick them up. I saw a couple others, but the boxes were beat up. I'm like, nah, nah, nah. But a lot of them, like Connect Four, I would have been just as happy to pick up a redo, like because they they seem to release a new Connect Four edition like every year. Um, Run Yourself Ragged, though, is a game that I have not seen replicated. Um, I, like I said, I, I would like to keep my eye out for, ag uh, not Aggravation. Um, there's Because there's another game, I think, called Aggravation. Cragravation? C correct. Um, uh, Perfection. Perfection is another game that I'd like to try to get a hold of. That I'd love to find uh, thrifting, you know, for the thrill of the hunt. Uh, I think I've run through everything I needed to run through. Thank you for bearing with me during the depressing talk at the beginning of the video. I, I'm not really interested in belaboring that point or having lengthy discussions over these matters. If you want to geek out about all the other stuff, happy to do so. Uh, you may hear me complain about Android and iOS indefinitely. Seems to be that's my lot in life, is to complain about the things that I... Well, who doesn't? Who doesn't complain about the things they don't like? I would just rather spend my time enjoying the things that I do like and talking about the things that I do like and sharing the things that I do like. You feel me? Are you feeling me there? Right? That's why I don't go down the rabbit hole that other people want me to go down. Like, not, not necessarily interested. Because it's just going to make me mad. These things make me happy. Those things, not so much. I'm going to go ahead and wrap up. Uh, thank you, everybody, for tuning in. Uh, I do appreciate it. Uh, I appreciate the, the super chats that we got. Uh, I appreciate the fact that my bladder has not exploded, at least to this point. Uh, the, the, the day's still young. <laughs> I'm going to wrap up because I have to go. I will see you over in Discord if you are there. Uh, feel free to you know, jump in. and You never know what's going to happen. Live.perillo.com. You can see iSciFi TV uh, right there. He's a moderator on the uh, Discord server, or at least should be at this point. Um, every once in a while, we just you know, talk about random things. That's that's what it's there for. So live.perillo.com is still there. Y'all can typically talk tech 24-7. I am now a geek father, so my priorities have moved on to vintage just fun <laughs> more than anything. Uh, but it's going to be a busy week ahead. Hot day today. Like We're tilting into... Yeah, it's 96 degrees outside. And here I am in the air conditioning. Yay, climate control. I love you. I appreciate you. And at this point, uh, oh, by the way, if you want to star, I should just, I should have mentioned this at the beginning. If you want to star any of the issues that I made on, um, uh, uh, for the, the Android problem that I talked about, I'll put the link on Discord. Is that cool? Like if you want to star, because if you star one of the issues that I submit, there's a greater chance of it getting fixed. Just FYI, I may tweet that too, just just so other people will, like, you know, hey, there. Uh, I love you, I appreciate you, and at this point, I'm going to leave you to your own devices, and may the force be with you, always.